Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be doing a reading for those of you who have the placement of sun sign. Okay. Virgo. But it is for males only. So sun sign. Very straight. Clear to the point that message came out. It is sun. So if your sun is in Virgo, this message is for you. And then it's specifically for those of you who are males. Okay, so your y'all energy picked to come through to have a reading done on you all. Now, um, before we get into your messages, um, if you'd like to book a personal session with me, my website is www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link at your convenience under this video, as well as if you would like to follow me on my other social media accounts, because... I um, also post sometimes different like promotion sales discounts deals and all that and if you just want to follow me um because I do other types of readings that I don't do on here over there and on my other social media sites like my blog so you can find those under this video in the description box as well too so let's go ahead and get into the reading all right I haven't um really pulled too many cards on y'all because um, I just haven't and some initial messages that I was getting just kind of like looking into trying to figure out get specifics about who exactly this reading was going to be for um, I got that um, like I got a very like strong manly man energy that came through like so I maybe some of you all look at yourself like this or maybe this is the perception that you give off like I was just getting like i'm hearing fourth day like i'm getting very strong maybe some of you are very strong or you come off in a very like strong energy um so this could be maybe physically strong or you're just very strong at like something in your life um some, something like you really like hold a lot of power or a lot of weight in is what i'm getting because i'm just getting very strong deep powerful like masculine energy and then um and maybe some of you as well to like to work with your hands so maybe this is some of you like maybe you like work in construction or you like to construct things or maybe you like to um build things or i don't know there, i'm hearing tools but maybe you like just work really well with your hands or something like that or you do something with your hands very well um i'm also getting um maybe some of you also have a very like intense powerful like energy about you so this could make some of you have a very strong like ooze very strong like sex appeal is what i'm getting like like it could be very strong very intense very powerful very magnetic is what i'm getting and then i also heard mellow yellow so maybe this could be some of y'all favorite drink because i believe that was a soda i'm hearing soda pop so maybe some of y'all call soda pop like p-o-p -P. um okay <laughs> okay um so maybe some of y'all call it pop or soda pop interesting um but yeah, I believe this was a soda that was out. Maybe it's still out. I don't know. I don't drink soda like that. So, <laughs> but I, I do remember seeing like Mellow Yellow back in the day. I don't know if it still is relevant now. Um, or I don't know. Mellow Yellow pertains to you in some way. So either you drink the soda now if they still make it or... Um, it, maybe it used to be your favorite soda or somehow mellow yellow pertains to you in some type of way because I heard that come through very clearly and then what is the other message oh I was hearing like um like some of you I think that's more so in the reading we'll get into that okay let me get some more channel messages and then I'm gonna pull some cards I'm hearing antsy maybe some of y'all could be antsy or some of y'all have like anxiety or maybe you have an an anxious personality or you're you're antsy about something okay i just heard unique and clever so that's interesting i don't know what that pertains to we'll we'll see if it comes back up but um okay so some of you could be going through some type of situation where you're about to close out like a chapter of your life and have a fresh new start is what i'm seeing what i'm picking up so maybe this is what some of you are like anxious about because you're about to end some type of chapter maybe this is like a milestone that you're coming up on or some type of major like 
like a major um, success or something that you're about to um, come into or accomplish, okay? Um, and then you're about to have a, a, a brand new start is what I'm seeing. So you could be going like ending something and going into a brand, a total brand new area of life. I'm hearing work. Maybe some of you are about to go into a brand new area of work as well too, okay? And I'm hearing kid. So, okay, some of you could be about to become a father I guess is what I'm getting um now the way this feels it kind of feels like this is gonna be you being a father for the first time so that's what it feels like for some of you but if it's not that the case for all y'all it could just be maybe you haven't had a kid in a long time so maybe this is why this energy feels brand new for you because it's like you haven't had a child in a long time but it feels very brand new so for so what are you this is your first child or is it like you got other children it feels like brand new to you whatever this is this experience feels new and it feels brand new to you um having this kid okay and then i was also hearing this could be a new line of work so some of you could be ending a situation maybe some of you are about to go into retirement and i'm hearing early retirement so maybe some of you are going into early retirement and maybe this is you um i'm getting like real anxious energy around you all okay so you could be going into early retirement now when i hear that that makes me feel like i don't feel like this is forced i feel like this is something that you're doing on your own but maybe it's the sense that it's either people are going to look at this as early retirement but i'm hearing that you're doing this for your own good so it's either a situation where other people feel this is early retirement. Like it's like people are going to be like really miss you in some other area or other field that you're about to leave. But you feel this is for your best interest is what I'm getting. So it's almost like, you know, that it's time for you to move on to something else. I'm hearing bigger and better things for you to fry maybe some of you are about to like step into a new line of work pertaining to being like a chef or a cook or catering or something like that um but this also could just be maybe new endeavors that you have that is just like on a whole nother level and it's just that could just be your vernacular maybe you're like someone who um okay hold on you, you could be someone who like has a lot of little different like quotes and sayings like you could be like known for like your vernacular is what i'm hearing like your vernacular maybe you have like a very like different style or unique style of like vernacular or you just like to say like little clever like word phrases i'm hearing like catchy things like so you could have like your own type of slang or you could just talk in a just different unique way than maybe like other individuals so something about that stands out about like the way that you speak as well too okay i want to say i feel a lot of excitement in your energy so th so there's something very exciting that's about to happen in your life is what i'm getting like it feels really good <laughs> so i'm happy for y'all in advance so congratulations whatever this is i don't know but it, it feels really good it feels really exciting Whew. I'm also getting a message as well too. Maybe some of y'all are about to break a record and you're either about to triple something or you're about to do three times something or you're about to break three records like at one time. I don't know. There's something about the energy of three. So three, three, three might be six significant for some of y'all, but there's definitely something like is a major deal. Maybe some of you are about to get a major deal in something. I'm hearing fashion. Okay, so some of you could be about to get a major deal in fashion. So maybe this is a new endeavor that some of you are about to move towards. Fast moving energy with y'all. So something is about to take off very quickly. Okay, like some of you are about to be like taking off very quickly. This definitely could be like your finances as well too. Like something could take off very quickly. Maybe some of you are about to come into like three opportunities at one time. And I feel like whatever you're coming into, a whole lot of other people want this or have been trying to get this. I feel it's like whatever it is, it could be very com competitive in nature, either the industry or this 
these opportunities that you're getting like maybe a lot of people have been trying to like get these opportunities but it's like you're gonna get like these opportunities handed to you well i don't know if you that it's gonna seem like they being handed to you but i feel like you're gonna get them regardless I, that's what i'm saying i just see something happening very quickly moving very fast for you and it's just like almost three things happen for you now for some of you this is all in alignment with work or some type of creative projects that you have i also heard like children's books so maybe some of you might be putting out something pertaining to kids or working with kids or this specifically could be a children's book um wow i feel like some of you definitely have had your hand in a lot of different areas and i feel like all these areas are going to be like very successful what whatever this is like some of you have really been working like diligently um so when you get this you definitely do deserve it because i do feel like you've been putting a lot of effort into all of these different projects i'm getting gemini energy so maybe some of you have like gemini placements but nonetheless i'm just getting um yeah i'm hearing mercurial so this is gemini Vir uh, virgo type of energy but nonetheless i feel like yeah some of you have definitely been delving into like several different projects and i feel like it's almost like all of these things are about to like just take off like very close together or you're dropping these all close together um but i'm seeing like something's going to be very successful but it's like multiple things like you have multiple projects multiple creative endeavors multiple passions that are going to like take off at once is what i'm seeing now this also could just be like whatever you're putting out is going to be like very like high in demand as well too so it's like soon as you release these soon as you drop these soon as you make them available i feel like a lot of people are going to like really want these like you're gonna see um you're, you're, you're just gonna see a lot of people like really wanting these items like that they're very high in demand okay i just heard 99 99 loop okay interesting 99 loop y'all energy got me really like what is this 99 loop <sighs> okay instantly what i thought of I, i'm thinking music okay so this might be something to do with a beat <laughs> okay but i just looked it up and something popped up about houston texas like some type of roadway highway interstate or something like that i don't reside in texas i don't know so maybe some of you are from texas or you have texas roots or that might got something to do with you but instantly when i heard 99 loop i'm thinking like like either like a subway or more like music so some form of transportation because a loop yeah mm -hmm. so i'm thinking like a subway or something like um some, something to do with music i'm here procrastinating now i feel like for some of you as well too what i'm looking at is um i see that some of you could have been at a stalemate or a standstill with making some type of choice or making some type of decision but i feel like now you receive some type of clarity maybe some of you prayed okay to get some type of clarity and now you have the clarity that you need to move forward with whatever this choice or this decision is um is what i'm seeing so you could have just got some type of um answer is what i i felt like i feel like there 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 was some type of missing information or something that you didn't want to see or that you weren't looking at before or or that just was not clear to you and now something feels more clear to you and i feel like you're going to stand firm on some type of choice to move forward um with some type of decision is what i'm seeing so you're going to make something very clear because something has been made very clear to you so i'm also getting like a weight oh, oh okay a weight is going to be lifted off of you there's also a wait like a waiting period that you've had to wait for something the energy of the child is coming up again so in some instances maybe another group of you or just another scenario that maybe some of y'all were dealing with was maybe you could have had okay 
well there could be a situation where you thought someone was pregnant or someone told you they were pregnant um but you might be coming to find out that either that person is not pregnant um or the child that you have with that individual is not your child so that could be something that you could be finding out because i feel like once something is revealed to you because I'm, I'm getting like legal issues around something that is trying to be settled so that could be one thing for some of you others of you this could be like a situation pertaining to some type of divorce or separation this could also be pertaining to some type of uh legalities around a housing or a home type of situation that you're dealing with um also is what i'm seeing and then i'm also seeing that like once you get the clarity that you need um then it's going to allow you to move forward very quickly um is what i'm seeing things are getting like whoa over here i don't know i feel like a lot is happening for y'all and like i'm getting like a swirling energy so maybe some things are just moving very fast for you all i, I also feel like in an in instance it's like for some of you you could be recovering from some type of health situation is what i'm getting so some of you could be recovering from a health situation i'm also seeing in some instances some of you are taking something back so you could be recovering something from someone now in this instance it almost feels like maybe you were going through something like some type of heartbreak or some type of betrayal maybe you were betrayed by someone and now you're getting um like you're recovering from that so maybe emotionally you were in a slump because of something that uh, transpired between like you and maybe someone you were romantically or um, involved with so some of you could be healing from some type of heartbreak is what i'm seeing i also feel like as well too some of you could be like reclaiming or recovering something back um just due to the fact that i feel like someone lied to you is what i'm getting like someone could have lied to you someone could have lied to you and told you that they were your soulmate or you believed someone to be your soulmate or your one true love or maybe for some of you i don't know maybe you no, this person told you they were your twin flame or you believe this person to be your twin flame or something like that i don't know there's something very significant here someone could have like duped you is what i'm getting I feel like for some of you um regardless of how that situation played out whether this person lied to you whether you were you, you lied to yourself and told yourself that this person was or um like a soulmate is what i'm saying or a significant soulmate in your life what i, I feel is happening is that like it might have took you through some type of like dark slump or whatever this is and I feel like you're essentially like healing from that. Like you're coming out of that dark time, that dark slump. Um, and it's almost like you're, you're healing. You're being revived from that. Um, your life is being restored is what I'm, I'm picking up. Um, I feel like you learned a valuable lesson um, with whatever the situation is, whether it strictly pertained to that or it just you may have felt like maybe this was the one true love that you were supposed to just be with for the rest of your life um but nonetheless i just feel like your life is being restored and i feel like i i feel like um it took a lot for you all to come out of this i really feel like this is you all um really have done a lot of like self work on yourself so there, there's definitely something within yourself that you you healed um to come up out of this so it's almost like it almost really got to you is what I'm getting, but it's almost like you took your power back. So I'm, I'm getting that energy as well, too. So it's almost like maybe some of you were dealing with an energy vampire and then you like took your power back because I feel like it almost had the power to like or it, at a point in time, it was like very um, overwhelming but it, you didn't allow it to like break you. I feel like you were very close and you, you got very um you, you could have went through like a very depressed type of energy and if you haven't already got to this point i see this happening like i see like a major turnaround like it's almost like you're gonna like be restored renewed recover and then it's like you're essentially taking your power back
So I feel like whatever this was that you went through, whether this is health ailments, whether this is like, um, whether this is like love related, love and romance related, and even if this is just a lesson on you just like learning to listen to your body so you don't like crash and burn is what I, because I did hear crash and burn. So it, I feel like it's just a lesson that you will now be able to have. Um, to take with you maybe some of you may even be in a position where you can like teach others from what you've been through with this and turn it around for your your good so for some of you I do see like you being able to like reclaim your power and use whatever you went through you may be able to be of assistance to other individuals um, in some form or some manner um, but I definitely see whatever this is that you've been through um, like being a learning experience for you um and just helping you to reclaim your your power reclaim your time reclaim your energy is what i'm getting um because like i said or if i don't know if i even finished my thought um but some of you may have been dealing with like an energy vampire or this if it wasn't even just one person it could have been several people you could have been being drained by like several people in your life okay um that you were dealing with and then i see you're like the pure purity um being re like restored to you so it's almost like whatever essence or whatever magic that you had that makes you you that makes you special i feel like you're going to get this like restored back to you so this could be tenfold you could be getting something restored tenfold back to you something that was stolen from you um it could have been the instance where you were lied to or um just even just like your energy okay For some of you this definitely has to do with a marriage okay so maybe some of you were married to um it could have been something you were married to or something that you were committed to put it like that so some type of commitment either this actually was a marriage or this was something that like you were in a commitment to for some of you maybe it's all like maybe there were a lot of things that you were committed to and it was just too much for you and overwhelming for you and now it's like you're gonna choose a path that um I feel like a path that's more peaceful is what I'm getting. So some of you, if you were working for someone, maybe some of you are going to go into like self-employment, become a um, entrepreneur. You're going to work for yourself. Maybe this also could pertain to maybe some of you are no longer going to like be in business with another individual. You may just be doing whatever you do solo now. So that could be that as well too but i feel like a lot of you are like going back to the basics or going like to a more simplistic peaceful easy tranquil type of lifestyle is what i'm getting maybe for some of you as well too you're also being able to like do something that you always used to want to do when you were a kid because that um, also could be the energy I was kind of picking that up um, when I initially was uh, when I initially started your reading when I said that you're about to accomplish some successful milestone and um, about to take a new adventure in life so this also could just be you getting um, the nerve up to finally be brave enough to go after something that you always wanted to do and this could be maybe something that stems back to like your childhood or when you were a kid or like you're like picking back up on doing something that you used to do when you were a child that brought you a lot of happiness and joy. Bring vegan vegetables and salads. So maybe some of you are going to be changing up your dietary um, lifestyle as well, too. The number 24 might be significant to some of you all. And then I also heard rot your environment. So what I was picking up is... Um, some of you could like music, okay? Music can be very influential in your life. Some of you like oldies type of music. Um, maybe some of you like soul music, but like like soul and R&B and soul type of music, okay? Or just music that resonates with your soul. I feel like this is like your driving force. So for some of you, like music could be very, um, what is that? Like it could be your like you need it like you need it every day this this is something that like helps you um get through life is essentially is what i'm picking up like it's your staple okay it's something that's necessary for you to include in every like your your life every day so you may if that's not something that you do 
or if you're not a musician or um just whenever you're going through things i just definitely feel like music being a staple of your life is something that you need to incorporate like regularly is what i'm picking up um especially when you're down is what i'm seeing because i feel like it really helps to like bring up your vibration but it's like it's something like you have to make a choice to do um you i feel like it helps you when you're going through like low points but i feel like as well too it's something that you need like regularly it's almost like you need this like you need it like you need air okay you need it like you need water you, yeah it's necessary in your life See, some of you could be like old souls that's what i'm picking up you could have a very old soul okay regardless of whatever age you are but i feel like you've always been that way so you may have always been like the mature person out of like your group of associates or friends or in school or even like out of your family three 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 again so that number three 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 is coming up okay so like i said three is significant in some form or some fashion or tr triple something or three times something there's something with the the number three and then we also got energy of like prosperity waves of prosperity so i feel like something's about to happen for you um and i feel like it's a, a positive turn of events in your life okay um, so I, I feel like things are looking up for you. So if this is not something that you are seeing actively in your life right now, well, I, f I definitely feel like something is about to pick up. And like my face feels so like flush right now. Like I just feel like some of you are, are just not even aware of the major like success that you're about to either step into the first time for some of you or that is about to like wash over your life. And I feel like some of it is definitely going to be financial, but I, I feel like it's it has a lot to do with like new love coming in for some of y'all as well too so i feel like some type of new love um f for those of you who are moving towards new love or open to new love coming into your life like i feel like you're about to be like so overwhelmed with so much coming into your life and i feel like it's going to come through like love like because you chose to open up your heart again because you chose to love again maybe because some of you start practicing self-love or some of you start putting like way more love out to the universe but i feel like you're about to be like so positively overwhelmed with like changes coming into your life i feel like some of you have been like waiting patiently and praying for things to change in your life and you're about to be like literally like swept over with so much <laughs> i feel like you're not gonna even like be able to like it's, it's like i feel like everything that you've wanted in some instance is gonna like maybe happen all at one time so it it's it's crazy i don't know and i feel like these the cards just keep jumping over here like when i shuffle like the cards just keep jumping all over the place it's like a lot of like like energy is what i'm feeling like it's like a lot of energy just pulsating and i just still feel just so like <laughs> I don't know just like very anxious okay or just very whoo like it's just a lot of energy going on in like my body especially around like this could be love is what I'm getting this definitely could be love for you also Th maybe this is someone that you already have your eyes on or this is maybe how you're going to feel like when you move forward and you have a new love interest come into your life but I'm definitely feeling like very overwhelmed like very overwhelmed like i'm yeah it's overwhelming but i just feel like a lot of things that you have been praying for or have just been patiently waiting for um it's going to just come and it, it just kind of feels like once at once like a lot of things are going to happen at once for you Whew. i'm also seeing as well too maybe for those of you who are just like about to step into some type of success especially in like the public persona like a public persona public platform i definitely see like a lot of you are going to be like on a lot of people's like wish lists i'm getting like people are going to want to have sex with you put it like that okay so if you are for the first time stepping into some newfound success uh, success <laughs> success i feel like you're going to need to uh you're going to you're going to be tested the most because i see for, for in some instances a lot of you are coming into new love okay so you're going to have a new person who you're having being brought into your life that's what i'm saying this could feel overwhelming because you could be getting several things at once and then it's almost like 
you're being tested at the same time as well too because it's going to be like how do you handle all of this newfound success for some of you um that have never had this opportunity before because it's like some of y'all been praying p praying for like to settle down to get married to have a baby um and to start a family and to be able to provide and take care of your family but i'm seeing a lot of y'all are about to be in some type of position where a lot of people are going to want you okay and like it's like you're the main you're the main thing that everyone wants everyone's going to want to work with you and things of that nature and then i just feel like a lot of people are going to want to like throw themselves at you okay like uh, yeah sexually and i feel like you're going to need to like use your discernment okay because like you're being sent you're going to be sent a true romantic soulmate and be put in a position where you gonna have a lot of people wanting you throwing themselves at you and it's like are you going to make a wise decision to learn how to temper yourself because you've essentially are about to get everything that you've asked for but at the same time it's gonna come with temptation and then it's like you have the risk of ruining something so good that you've waited so long for so i just feel like a lot of you just need to be mindful and aware of that um as well too and then it almost seems like maybe some of you get all of this and then have the option to choose like okay well you can still have all of this and be in a committed relationship but what about exploring all these different options that come with this and not being in a relationship so i feel like that's something that some of y'all are gonna like have to think about as well too it's almost like you're being tested again to see like do you really want this like everything that you've been praying for like you, some of y'all have been praying to be a father some of you have been praying to settle down and get married or to get married again or to come into contact with like a higher level true romantic soulmate who you can spend the rest of your life with and I just feel like there seems like a curveball is about to be th thrown at you as well too upon all of this success and glory because you're about to really step into some position where it's like I feel like y'all about to feel like y'all the man y'all about to be in a position where you're about to be like the man or a lot of eyes are going to be you be on you a lot of attention is going to be on you um so you just want to keep that in mind you know what I'm saying just keep that in mind some final words of advice for you all i feel like whatever this is that you're about to be embarking on stepping into receiving you definitely are going to want to um, consult people who have your best interest at heart so if this is a situation where you need to have um, a sound legal team of experts around you you make sure that you invest in that okay um, especially because I'm seeing like music here so this could be maybe some of you are about to step into a career pertaining to music or you might be getting some deal uh, with music or something like that um, so you want to make sure that you explore your options and you have people around you who are advising you for your best interest okay and you need to also not throw caution to the wind you've had a lot of experience like trial and error before whatever this is that you are at right now so do not just get lost in the sauce all of a sudden and forget everything that you've learned don't throw your morals to the side and um you still are able to have fun but moderation is going to be key and i feel like it's just a sense of do not forget the things that you've been through and that you've learned the experiences that you've directly learned and as well as the experiences that you've seen other people maybe go through um that have been a learning stepping stone for you as well too even if you didn't actually experience that like all of that stuff that you have experienced even the experiences of seeing other people around you go through things have been like stepping stones for you to apply and use for whatever this moment is right here right now that you're experiencing so i feel like it's like you've been through a significant amount of lessons for you to gain some type of wisdom that has helped you be enlightened for where you currently are or where you're about to head and i feel like you know just make sure you're continuing to um protect yourself okay and make wise decisions surround yourself with people who have your best interests at heart and 
I feel like, yeah, that's going to be in your best interest. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like that. I feel like those are all the messages. So I hope this was very helpful for you all. And if you would like to book a personal session with me, feel free to, um, book at my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. Be blessed.